Many were injured, lives were lost. It was all for you. They did it all for you. Why education? Why do we feel the need to die for you? Why do we feel the need to live for you? Why do we feel like we cannot live without you? Why education? That is the question. Why education? Why are we so attracted to you? You torment us, yet we still fight for you. We still die for you. We still live for you. Why education? Greetings to you all. Standing right in front of you is Luyolo Mapegula, 21 years of age, born and bred up at Bai, also known as Kwabecha. I am a 21-year-old student pursuing a degree, a bachelor in science degree in physical sciences and mathematics, and today I'm here as the chairperson of the Drama Society. Well, I've always known that I have a talent for writing poetry, but then there weren't those platforms where you can freely share the pieces that you write. Being a poet, you basically need the platform up on where you can share your pieces. When I came to NMU, that was where I found the Drama Society and that was the space in which we talk about our poetry, but it doesn't end there. We criticize each other positively, of course, and that helps us grow, that helps us become better poets. The same with acting, we have our monologues where we can see where we need to improve. We criticize each other and that helps us become better performers and better thespians as well. It's love, honestly. We make time for the things we love and as hectic as a schedule of a student is, as much as we love poetry as well, we tend to make time to do poetry because it's what we love. Drama is my passion. Poetry, acting, it's all my passion. And it's also my coping mechanism. I don't know what I would do if I didn't do poetry and acting. Everything we do, all our performances, they are all based on students. Since we are all students, so we relate, we know the kind of problems that we're going through. So the poetry we write, the students are the ones that will relate to the most because that's always our target audience because our performances are mainly for students. So everything we write, every piece, it will mainly affect students. When we are on, together on stage or during our rehearsals, there's always that bond that is created. There's that trust that we have and we know that when we come together, it's a family, it's a safe space for us. So it doesn't, it's not just rehearsals, but it's also a safe space in the sense that if you're not feeling okay, we can tell that you're not okay and we'll talk about it. It's that bond that we have. Youth Day has its it has its pros and cons, if I can say, in the sense that in as much as the youth of 1976 fought for education, we're still fighting for the same thing today. It's been, what, 47 years, and yet we're still fighting for the, for the same thing, basically. So I haven't seen the change or significance that their fight has had compared to ours. It's just different circumstances, but we're still fighting for the same thing, which is education. Go for it. Even the sky is not the limit. Oh, you are your own limit. The, I feel like that's the problem that we have when it comes to being entrepreneurs. We always think, what, what if, what if? Sometimes that what if is what's limiting you. Just take the high risk. The worst that could happen is you fail. We might be scared, we might have some fears, we might have some doubts, but if you don't take the risk, how will you know? 